Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is me, Vivs from Slider here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most dangerous thing for beginners in Android, the thread looper and handler. No matter which beginner you are, and no matter which blog post you search for, you never understood things perfectly about thread looper and the handler. And I can bet you on that because that's why here you're trying to see this video. So let's get this thing over with in the next couple of videos you will know everything there is to know about the thread the looper handler so first question that you have is what is this thread looper handler let's take a simple diagram and try to understand okay it says there's a rectangular box here it says thread there is something said message queue there's another box and inside that there are little boxes here that say messages there is something called runnable here and there's a looper what is going on you see a thread like your main thread has a message queue in other words every person who says that he wants to perform a task on this thread will send a message on this message queue and that is what these messages and runnables are all about now the looper is some person who is like sitting at the office desk all the messages come one by one to the looper and the looper will try to figure out what to do with them in other words what the looper actually does is the looper is gonna take the message and it's gonna give it to this person called handler now the handler has this method called handle message where that particular code inside the message will be executed now the handler does two things it can handle messages for that thread no doubt about it, it can also send messages inside the message queue now you're like hey what the hell why would he handle messages and send messages at the same time now this is because the handler will send messages from a different thread in other words you have the reference to this object handler you can send message from there that call the part where you call send messages from a different thread and from there you send the message to this thread inside where the looper is gonna pick them up and it's gonna run inside the handle message so this is the basic idea of what a thread a looper and a handler is now let's explore this idea in a little more detail just to make sure that you guys understand everything so there are several messages inside the main thread queue now this is the main thread and this blue box is its queue what you have is another thread say thread one now there is our looper who is sitting at the top or you can say at the desk who is gonna take one message at a time and is gonna try to understand what the message does and what I have is the handler who's capable of doing two things it can handle messages that come from the looper and can also send messages from a different thread so now let's take a look at how this works so thread one let's say wants to send a message to the main thread indicating to update the progress bar now from thread one you want to send a message so what you do is you get the handlers reference and you call send message of the handler and that message is gonna go here inside the message queue the looper is gonna run one message at a time and ultimately when it comes to your message the looper is gonna open the message up and is gonna forward the message to the handler now the handler object is gonna have this method called handle message inside which whatever code you guys have written is gonna be executed on the main thread now remember the looper and the handler are very exclusive to the main thread currently in other words to be honest with you each thread can have its own looper and its own handler for now the main thread is the one who has its own looper that's gonna take one message at a time and its own handler who's gonna pick messages up and run them up and other threads can use a reference to this handler to send messages to the main thread so this is the true working or architecture of the thread looper handler pattern in Android and we are gonna be using this to recreate the same download images app which we did earlier using pure threads we're gonna use handlers this time and we're gonna see what changes so before we start doing and working on code let's take a look at what the handler is exactly so a handler allows you to send and process messages and runnable objects now it can have two types of communication it can either send what you call as message objects in Android or what it has runnable objects which is, your, which is basically from your Java associated with the threads message queue now 
the handler instance is associated with a single thread and that particular threads message queue now you can have a handler for your thread as well which is not your main thread but in this case we are talking about the handler stuck up with the main thread so further if you go when you create a new handler it is bound or you can say it is linked to the thread and the message queue of that thread without you having to create any direct association it happens automatically so it will deliver messages from runnables to that queue and execute them blah 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 that's what it does and you only have one handler object per activity or you can say per thread and you don't have to manually register it so what can you do with the handler now your background thread can communicate with the handler which will do all the work on the activities UI thread now for example if you wanted to update the progress bar from the background thread what you do is get the handler which belongs to the main thread and simply send a message updating the progress bar so the two uses for a handler are one to send messages and runnables and two is to perform or you can say send some action to be performed in a different thread other than your own now we will be exploring both of them in code so if you don't understand the uses don't worry too much about it I'm yet to talk about code in this video actually it's gonna be the next video so two options for communicating get any different message objects or runnable objects now runnable you guys are probably familiar with because we already talked about it just previously when we were dealing with threads and of course you guys have been seeing my java videos hopefully so you know what runnable objects are but messages are something new they are specific to android so what is a message well a message is nothing but a object which contains some description some data that can be sent to a handler so when the con now how do you initialize this now it has a public constructor and you could say message m is new message but that's not how you do it what you do is you call message dot obtain or handler dot obtain message the reason is there is a pool of message objects that are kept and you simply want to reuse one of the objects from the pool if none of them are being used to improve the performance and say conserve memory so that is how you get message objects so how do you send them so there are certain methods that let you send messages now when is it send message it puts the message on the queue immediately now there's a send message at the front of queue which means all the other messages are placed at the back and your message is taken priority and it's at the front of the queue which means the looper is gonna take it first and process it by the handler first over the others same way there's a send message at time you can set a particular time interval in the form of milliseconds there's a send message delay you can specify the delay amount in milliseconds there's a send empty message that lets you send an empty message without calling obtain message over here now these are just different variations of the same operation which is send message so now the handler needs to implement handle message which will be called when each message pops up from the message queue so the handler can update the UI as needed within this so that's all you need to understand as far as sending messages and the overview of handler operations is concerned in the next video we are gonna dig inside Eclipse inside code go to that same project or app which is called download images remove all the thread shit that we wrote and we're gonna put handlers in place and we're gonna try to see how things work with handlers and also as a matter of making things better we will change probably the indeterminate progress bar into a determinate one if you guys haven't been seeing the previous videos please go back and check out the other videos because this is merely a continuation of what I've been doing so far if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day